Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Guide. My name is Deshaun, and today we are going to be getting started on episode 4. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys quickly how you can start using multiple classes and start accessing uh, your main class from your other classes. Uh, before, I did this terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, well, not terribly, terribly wrong in how you should instance your main class, um, but there is a better way to instance your main class to get access throughout your projects. So I'm actually going to go ahead and rename this just to EP04 because I think it just looks better. So we're going to rename file. So I already went ahead and made the project just because um, it's really easy now that we're using Minecraft Dev for IntelliJ. Uh, we don't really have to do a lot of work. So let's go ahead and make a new class. We'll just go ahead and call this um, time. We'll just call it time. And so to instance our main class, and if you guys weren't able to see that, um, let me just pull this. Oh, well, you can't even see that if I pulled over, I'd have to make my screen full screen here. So let me make my screen full screen real quick. Let me just line that back up. So to make a new class, all you do is you right click on the package and then you just do a new Java class. If you want to create a new package to put that class under, like say you have commands, uh, we could do that, but we're going to save that for next episode. So now that we have our new class, uh, let's get back into this mode. What we need to do if we want to get access to anything on our main class here, so let's just go ahead and say um, public int time equals two. And now if we want to get access to that, sure we could go ahead and make a new instance of our main class, uh, which we actually want to be able to because we would it would tell us that we already have a, an instance of this uh, of the plugin running or something along those lines. Uh, what we actually want to do is we want to go ahead and say EP4 or whatever your main class is called, plugin, and then we'll say public, the name of our current class, which is time, and then we'll say EP4, plugin, well, we'll say PL, and then we'll say plugin equals PL. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and say public void uh, get time and we can go and say plugin dot time. Well, we're going to want more than that. So we're going to say system dot out dot print plugin time. Cool. All right. So now that that's done, let me just close down my server quickly here. Cool, so now that we have that done, and I don't remember where I have this configuration set to. Okay, so I have it set to my desktop. Okay, cool. I figured as much, but I wasn't entirely sure. All right, so now that we have that, we can go ahead in our main class, and now what we can do is we need to make an instance of our new class. So we can say, you can make it public, private, or protected, depending uh, what your purpose is. I'm gonna make it private because I say I don't want any other classes to be able to access this uh, time class other than my main class. So we're going to say private time and we'll say uh, time class equals new time and now we're going to go ahead and it's going to ask for a plugin, right? It's going to ask for an instance of our main class because that's what we put inside of this constructor here as one of our variables. So we're just going to go ahead and say this and semicolon. So now what that enables us to do is we can go ahead and say time class dot get time. And if all goes well, that should work. So let's go over here to our Maven, go ahead and click install. And it's gonna output it to your target directory, as you can see here. So just go ahead and find that on your computer. I believe you can change uh, your target directory. Um, so that's up to you how you wanna do that. And then we're just gonna go ahead and drag over our, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm doing this off screen. Go ahead and drag that over to our server. And then let's go ahead and just click debug so we can start our server up. And we're gonna have to wait 20 seconds because I'm too lazy to update my jar file. Okay, and as you can see here, we have our console printout for two, which is what our time value is in our main class and what our, in our time class is what is printing out from our main class. So 
that is pretty much how you guys are going to get started with multiple classes. In the next episode, we're going to work with commands. And I wanted to do multiple classes first because I think it's a really good segue. I think it's really just a good thing to learn first. So that way you don't have to do everything on your main class. Uh, you can just go ahead and get right started in using multiple classes, which you should uh, be doing. So that way you can keep your thing, your classes organized, your project organized. Uh, so the next episode we'll be working on commands. Uh, and then after commands, we will go ahead and start working on some different events uh, that Bug has, like player move event, block break event. Uh, we're going to go through a lot of those sort of events. Uh, probably some more of the more common ones, uh, but probably a good chunk of the videos will be just simply looking at events uh, that Bucket has. And then once we do a few, you'll pretty much understand how the rest of them work. So yeah, that's it. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe.